driving so calm. Yeah, so 
it caught water somewhere and I could tell that the rear was losing traction. Fortunately, nothing crazy happened by any means, but you know, you could tell where when the rear tires are grabbing too much water and that started happening, so I just like stopped accelerating. And we were like really going like pretty slow. I mean, at, there were there were, like plenty of times where we were like barely even going 60 in the speed limit 65. So, yeah, it was a slow drive. And yeah, but we made it there early. The client was actually there even earlier than I was. So, uh, you know, we got our business taken care of and whatnot. And yeah, I'm just glad to be on my way back home. Half the day is pretty much already gone uh, from, you know, where I started. So we'll see what else we do today. Probably going to continue working, but not do anything crazy because there's probably not going to be that much time left before the workday technically ends. Unless I feel like putting in extra hours, but we'll just uh, go from there. And yeah. Upside down car over here. <clears throat> Damn, I wonder. Wonder if. Uh... able to catch it before the fire truck ended up blocking the side of the road but when I pulled up Turn left on C Street. literally was an upside down car <clears throat> Down the road, so it's not the clear. 
here's a view from this intersection. Man, people cannot drive today. I don't know what the hell the issue is. And this mosquito eater thing or whatever the hell it's called literally got in my car yesterday when I was driving. When I was leaving the place I was at at some point when my window was still open and I didn't see it for a long time the drive was obviously like an hour long or whatever and I didn't see it but when I got in the car and started driving today it popped out of nowhere and like it's literally not getting out and it's trying to get out but as you guys can see I mean my windows were literally down one of my windows completely down this one's like half down and somehow it's not bright enough to get out even though it's literally fully able to think if I should have got that range that I had seen at CarMax instead of the M5 that day obviously I couldn't have really used the range for my channel but I don't know it would have been an interesting uh, situation maybe I would have had the Lambo and Mustang as like the YouTube cars and I could have had the range as my daily um, but obviously I went with the M5 so I could have another YouTube car and then also daily it for content so that's obviously the decision we made I also have been thinking about like what if I had gotten that Roush stage 3 instead of the M5 because obviously M5 came and went and I ended up with this 2024 Mustang and instead I could have had that like 2021 Roush instead so I don't know the dynamics kind of interesting it makes you wonder of like what could have been if I gotten that stage 3 Roush and paid a little extra even though the dealer was playing games but like maybe I could have made it work gotten that instead of the M5 and we'd have had a Roush stage 3 right now uh, rather than this 2024 and I wouldn't have lost money on the M5 at all uh, so I don't know you live and you learn obviously it's quite the process especially when you have to consider YouTube content and all of that stuff
literally so peaceful until I need to turn on this car. Unfortunately, it looks like my battery's really low since I shot yesterday for a decent amount. So we'll see how much use we actually can get out of this camera before it ends up dying. Hey, look at this one. It's coming directly to me. See, I knew I was an animal whisperer. Hey, right away. See, it ran away as soon as you came. Dang. I actually wanted to try it, but I don't feel like getting bit. Yeah. In case it actually does. Because sure. like obviously it's beak off. It's, you know, could make it through the hole. Unfortunately, I don't have feed, so now I feel a little bad that they chased me around and I didn't give them no food. And they're there, little roosters. I don't know if I'll catch it on camera, but the exhaust is like backfiring literally so loud. Louder than I've heard it before. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> is it? I don't know if this is gonna work. Is it gonna work?
hard ass photo. With this car and that one. they want to target you they can and they could just like follow you until you like something up, and then they could like pull you over and like there's nothing you can do about it because like you got pulled over for like a legal reason even though like they're like literally like targeting you, your car pretty much yeah, baby. Um, but yeah that's interesting what is that Yeah, exactly. I don't those. know if it was a scat bag or okay. Yeah. Yeah. Probably a scat bag. I'm gonna guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious, man. Nah, because I mean, I don't know. Like, I mean, I, I've seen people de bad Hellcats, but like, I mean, I mean, how many people are gonna do that, right? Because, like, I mean, I, like, I mean, having the Some people like just like that clean look. I mean, yeah, or they want to like catch people slipping, right? Like, True. thinking that it's I think not that'd a be fucking, fun. It would be fun, but like, if and paying like a hundred bands or some shit, like I kind of want to badge, like at that point, right? I, I don't know. I, I mean, it just depends. 